Hey everyone, welcome back to your native script videos in which we're going to discuss about something important in native script that is data binding. So we actually did a little bit of discussion on that in earlier videos, but let's just make it formal in these videos, a couple of videos, I guess. So data binding basically means that you are binding your view, that is your XML file with your model, right? Which is basically your logic of how the view actually works. So let's say you have, um, we do have a input field here and let's say we just get rid of this and just say that this is a label with a text of um, something which we enter in this input field, right? So how do we do that? Well, you see that we could pretty much write static text here and give it a text property as well, which matches this, right? but what we want to do is essentially these two should be in sync right so if i write something here it should update and maybe in the background if i'm updating this inside my logic this should also update now this is in a nutshell what data binding would do it would bind a particular value inside view as well as inside your logic that is your model what I'm telling about is two-way data binding. That is, both view and model are synced together. But we're gonna take a look at one-way data binding in this video. So, <clears throat> to begin with, what we need, first of all, is a reference to this particular page, right? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a loaded method. Now, you can also use navigating to something we have used in the past, but not discussed yet. We're gonna to come to that later on, but just stick with me on this one, right? So once we have this loaded, we want to fire this loaded method as well, or maybe you could just go ahead with onloaded if it, if it confuses you, right? So what's the deal now? In your logic that is in your JavaScript file, you have to create a onloaded method, which basically gives you an arguments object. Now, again, this is something we have already discussed. So I'm just going over a little bit faster here here you get reference to your page using args.object which is again just how native script is built you have to get that reference like this then what you can do is you can set a binding context context of this to um you know anything username is admin and yeah i think we just have a single field right now so we have discussed what binding context is in in um, one way data binding sense so now what you can do is pretty much just go ahead and instead of writing that you can make use of two curly braces write your property name whose value you want to echo out right and similarly right here as well all right so what you're going to see now is you see admin and admin on screen but what happens is that if i update this input field you see that this is not updating, right? So what's happening here is that this is actually one-way data binding. So if we take a look and if we do like set timeout and we do pretty much like not even set timeout, let's do a set interval. And every second, what we want is page.binding context to change to like username is um, admin and then I something like that and we can just create an eye here right and hit save so what we see now is all right so on your terminal you should pretty much see an error that uh, you know you're assigning to a constant value so let's just change it from const to let so once the application reloads what you should see pretty much is that both your text field and basically your label show you the same value which is what you update here so you see that whatever whenever you update your logic your view gets updated but not the other way around right so if i change this value right here you see your label is not updating because your logic does not update that so this is one way data binding now in most cases you might want to do two way data binding right so native script does allow you to do that as well without any hacks and stuff so we're going to take a look at that in the next video so that's all for this one if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video